Hola, muy buenas tardes de San Miguel de Allende at the Rancho Cañada de la Virgen. So, before I was a full-time artist and instructor, I worked in grass-fed bee, right? So, uh, I used to work at the Cañada, and um, I am here in San Miguel, and they invited me out for the day because today is cattle inventory, and it's the day when all the cows come in from the huge, beautiful uh, rancho. Huge! There's the pyramid, the Cañada de la Virgen pyramid, right? It's out there, right? Very sacred, sacred site out here in San Miguel. And these cows live all around the pyramid. And uh, so today is cattle inventory. It's May, so it's totally hot, dusty, dry. It's very hard to raise cows, sustain cows in this in this area, right? This is not really, this was never really intended for cattle central mexico right but we do what we can right we do the best we can this is an organic a certified organic grass-fed grass-finished cattle ranch right libre de pastoreo um agricultura regenerativa regenerative agriculture right so i'm so proud of the cañada because it's very hard to sustain all these holistic methods um, but the, the owners, my friends, they're dedicated to this and it's, it's tough, right? Like cattle ranching is tough no matter what. Uh, but to do things in a holistic, certified organic, it's, you know, I'm, I, it's not easy work and I'm not over, you know, I'm not going to, no matter what, it's, cattle ranching is hard, right? So uh, twice a year there's cattle inventory and the cowboys go out early in the morning and they, they gather the cows, right? Which are then brought through the chutes so here on the other side of the little corral house here. Um, beautiful corrals, right? I love these. It's just so cowboy. I love being a cowgirl. I'm a cowgirl. I'm Sally O'Malley the cowgirl. <laughs> so the cows are brought in uh, through the chutes, right? And we get to check them. You check the health of the mamas and the babies, see who needs a nutritional boost, who, if, if anyone needs to be taken out and have a little bit more, um, you know, uh, uh, health support, right? When they go through the chute, they get some supplemental boost of vitamin C, copper, vitamin B. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something else, but everyone gets checked for the health, especially now as we're going into the, the tough season, right? The super dry May, June, July, very little rain. Uh, the Cañada has began a, a, a mega silage uh, program, which is basically fermented cactus, which is also pulque and mezcal, right? But before it becomes alcohol, it's a sugary silage, right? And so that will be fed to the cows, the mamas, the babies, as it gets really hot and dry when the, the water may be very hard to find. And so this silage program is something that not I don't think any other cow, uh, farms in Mexico are doing, but it's to help sustain the cows through these harsh, dry, uh, I almost said winter, it's summer, summer months. So I'm super proud of the work that the Cañada is doing. It's not easy work for any farmer anywhere, right? And so that's why it's super important to support your local farm right now, no matter what, you're, if you're vegetarian, support your lettuce farmer, right? But if you are paleo or keto or just want to eat a good, clean, medicinal uh, product, organic grass-fed beef, right? I mean, when I say medicinal meat, people go, yeah, what are you talking about, right? That's so crazy. It's true. If you eat good, clean carne, carne organica that, uh, that has been raised holistically, it's the best. Th I mean, it was the best thing for my health, right? Which is why I'm so dedicated to their efforts because it, it really improved my health. And, um, you know, I, I would, no matter what city I go to or where my art takes me, I'm always going to be a farm girl, right? And I'm, I always right in my heart. The cows are in my heart forever. The farm is in my heart. I love the work they do. They're doing here. It's super hard, super, super, super hard. There's no thanks for it. There's no thanks at all. But uh, I thank them and I will always support them. And I will always jump at an opportunity to come out and see the cows. See, they're very little quiet right now. They're all ready to go back home. Right? All right. Support your local farmer. Eat local. Whatever that means to wherever you're living. Peace. <laughs> so happy.
happy to be here at the farm.